Hello, my name is John Pinto. I'm a mathematician and amateur astronomer, and I'm going to be presenting Dominic Prunet's course on celestial navigation. Welcome back to episode 16, in which we're going to cover latitude by noon sight. This course is based on Dominic Prunet's book, Celestial Navigation, and the courses that he gave along with a exercise manual, both books and some free resources you can find at marinenavigationbooks.com. At that uh, site, you can also uh, download this slide deck that we are doing this course from. So when the sun is over the equator, say at the equinox, and the sun is uh, directly um, at its highest point, wherever we are on the boat, that's considered local noon. Uh, the, your latitude would just be the zenith distance, which is always 90 minus the um, altitude that you measure with your sextant, the HO. To see why that is, um, here's a, an example of uh, what this would look like. So the sun's GP is over the equator. We take a sight on the sun. And we get a certain HO. From there, we can calculate the zenith distance, which is just 90 minus HO. Here's your 90 degree angle. And let's take a look at the geometry. So here we have two parallel lines. Right? You assume the sun is so far away that its rays hit the earth in a parallel way. And then we have this line that is cutting the parallels coming from the sun. If you remember your high school geometry, once you have two parallel lines cut by what's called a transversal, the angles here and here will be equal to each other. So that's why, and if you notice this ZD, or it's the same as this ZD, is the same as the angle of the latitude. So that's why on the equinox, this is a very simple calculation because the declination is zero, which means that it's on the equator. Here's another way to look at it. <clears throat> so the sun is um, at its zenith or its highest position from your boat, which would be your local noon. Let me put my uh, little laser pointer on here. And you measure the uh, height, and then you, from there you can calculate the ZD. That gives you a circle of position right here, which is exactly your latitude if the sun happens to be right on the equator. But that's not the general case, as you know. The sun's only on the equator uh, during the equinoxes, which is twice a year, in March and September. Most of the time, is the sun is traveling either up or down, you know, north or south of the equator. There, you'll have to invoke um, slightly different calculation. So, in the general case, when the sun's GP is not on the equator, your latitude calculation that you get at noon will be either plus or minus the zenith distance, plus or minus the sun's declination. Now, let's go take a look at what those formulas are. So if the boat and the sun's GP are in the same hemisphere, so you're both north of the equator, or you're both south of the equator, but the boat is closer to the pole than the sun is. So the boat is, you know, in the, what we'll call the temperate latitudes, you know, above 23 degrees north or below 23 degrees south. Uh, latitude is just simply the ZD plus the declination of the sun. If the boat and the sun are in uh, opposite hemispheres, so the boat's north, the sun is south, or the boat is south and the sun is north, then the latitude is simply the ZD minus the declination. If the boat happens to be in the tropics near the equator and the sun is in the same hemisphere, but it is closer to the pole than you are, further away from the equator than you are, then your latitude is the declination minus the ZD. So those are your three simple rules to calculate latitude 
from your noon, what's called the noon site. Here's an exercise where you can uh, try that out. Um, basically, here are your rules okay, that we just went over, whether the declination and latitude are same name, and whether the latitude is greater than the declination or your latitude is less than the declination. And usually this will be the case if you're in the tropics. Or your declination and latitude are contrary names. So north and south, south and north. And here's some examples that you can try on your own. And if you get the exercise manual, you'll get the answers to check yourself. Next episode, we'll talk about getting an approximate longitude from a noon site. So we just calculated a latitude from noon site, which is pretty exact um, if you follow all those rules. But determining longitude is a little more difficult. Um, and that's why we always consider that an approximate longitude. That you can get from a noon site. And we'll cover that in our next episode. Thank you very much.